know the material, we're talking about fiber reinforced um, organic polymers. And the fibers mostly are glass uh, or uh, carbon fibers. That is because you want ceramic fibers. So polyethylene and, and uh, aramid fibers won't do because of long-term behavior in, in, in bridges. It's always glass or carbon. And you combine that with a resin, a polyester, a vinyl ester, or an epoxy. And for that, we use the vacuum infusion process, which is uh, indicated here. So you have a, a mold in which you put dry fabrics. You seal the dry fabrics with a with a foil. You, you take out the air, make it vacuum, and then you open the valves and you let the resin flow into the mold, thereby impregnating all the fiber structures which are in there. And finally, you can take out your your bridge. So these bridges, everything we make, is one integral structure. There's hardly any joints in it. About the technology, this is the only picture I have for the technology in this presentation but it gives you a little sketch of what we make. So this looks like a weird structure, but if you look through your, you can squeeze your eyes a little bit, you can uh, recognize a top skin, a bottom skin, and a core-like structure. This looks like a sandwich. Actually, this is part of a sandwich. And we make those sandwiches not by taking a core and placing fibers on top and on the bottoms. We make those structures by using a fiber structure, which is folded into a Z structure. So these are fibers, uh, this is direction of the fiber, a piece of fabric folded into a Z structure. And we repeat that and then space them a little bit. And that way you get a skin on this side, which is a combination of all the top parts of the Zs. You get a skin on the bottom side, with all the combination of the Z parts over there. And you get a core with vertical webs. And these are fully integrated. So if you want to take away this skin from this core, you have a hard time. You have to break those fibers. And glass fibers are uh, much stronger than steel. So it's not easy to break this connection. Thereby, it's not easy to take away this skin from a sandwich structure. That's the basic idea of the, of the patents. And what is uh, interesting in, in properties is that when you look at a structure the way we build it, um, we have a structure which can resist a pulse impact. Well, there are other sandwich structures which can resist, resist pulses. Uh, there are also other sandwich structures which can resist fatigue. What we can do is we can combine, we can combine, uh, we can resist the combination of both. So actually, if you have a pulse impact which indi uh, induces damage in your structure, most regular sandwich structures are very vulnerable to fatigue loading afterwards. In our case, we can take a tremendous beating of a structure like that, absorb a lot of damage, and then still you can put on a fatigue load or an extreme load on it, the structure will carry the load.